Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a Kentucky bourbon pecan tart. Sounds wonderful. Uh, the first thing I'm going to make is the tart crust. So this is a, it's a buttery pie crust, but it works as a pie crust, a tart crust, whatever kind of crust you want. This will work for all of it. So the first thing I need, you need a stick of butter and it needs to be cool. You don't want it to be warm. So just a whole stick of butter. I'm going to, just put that aside for a second. I'm going to get my ingredients out as I go. So I need one and a half cups of uh, flour, all purpose flour, half teaspoon of sugar. Doesn't seem like it's hardly worth it, does it? A fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt, which is, that's the one I find most interesting. Kosher salt is really big and grainy. So, fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. And then I'm basically going to whisk this together to kind of mix it together. And the butter is unsalted butter, by the way. I said a stick of butter, it's unsalted butter. So, make sure it's unsalted. Don't get regular salted butter. Okay, now you want to take and cut this um, half cup or one stick of chilled unsalted butter into just, really, I, I just do it in slices, but it's whatever. Whatever works for you. And basically you just take it and you squish this flour into this butter and the butter is pretty firm. So I mean, you really have to like smash it like smoosh the butter uh, to where it's flat and it comes apart. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll be back when I get done with it because this will take me a little while to work all this in. But it basically is going to be uh, coarse, like a really coarse uh, meal. Like a, it's going to be grainy. You'll, you'll see what it looks like. Hey, okay, here's the texture you're looking for. It's kind of, uh, kind of looks like cornmeal a little bit. It's kind of uh, grainy. So now what we do is we add a, a fourth of a cup of ice cold water and right now it's really cold outside so any of our water is ice cold water right now. So I'm basically just going to pour it in here and I'm just going to use my fingers again to work this in. And if this is still too dry we're going to use uh, teaspoons of cold water and just add it to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this into a ball. And I've got a piece of plastic wrap laid out. Press it into a disc. So it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to cover this up with the other piece of plastic. Just fold it over and put it in the refrigerator. And you want it to chill for about an hour until it gets good and firm. And then um, they, it actually says you can make this up the day before if you want. Just keep it in the refrigerator chilled, and then the next day you can come in and make your uh, your actual your actual tart or your pie or whatever. So I make this in the oven and chill it. I mean, uh, in the refrigerator and chill it, and I'll be back. All right, it's been about an hour for the disc to cool off. I uh, also got my oven preheating to 375 degrees. It's almost here, so it'll beep in just a second. I just got a little bit of area of, of flour, so I can roll this out. I got my tart pan, just showing you things I've got ready. Um, I put it on another pan just in case any of the butter leaks out or anything like that. It'll be contained in here instead of dripping all over your oven. Got my rolling pin, I got a fork, I got a piece of parchment paper to put into the pan after I put the crust in, and I've got baking beans, the pot pie weights, whatever you want to call them. Um, you can also do rice, which works really good, or um, beans. You can do beans really good. So I'm just gonna. And if I was on the baking shop, I would just throw it down. Like, I just dropped it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Wasn't my intention to do that, but that's okay. They would throw it down and let stuff go everywhere, literally. All right, so you want this to, like I did, um, you want this to be out into a 12 inch round disc. There's the oven. Um, so basically what you want to do is just every once in a while, just rotate this and I don't want it to get stuck so I'm going to keep throwing flour into there. And um, I don't know, I'm going to, I'm sure there's a reason why, but I'm not sure why you wait, you want it to be so cooled off before you roll it because it's really hard to roll when it's cold. I don't know why. I, don't, I just don't understand that. So um, this rolling pin, this figure rolling pin is a 10 inch wide rolling pin. So how do I know that? Because I measure it. So. Um, so it's about the right length here, except I've got this big hole over here.
You want to press on the, the bottom, but you want to get in the corners really good. But I found for the past couple ones I've done, don't press too hard because you don't want a big dent there. You just want it to be, you just want it to fill the bottom up. So pick up the sides and the dough is, I mean, the crust is pretty robust. You can see I'm just picking it up. Um, it's not going to break on you really easily. I mean, it would if you really moved it around a lot, but um, it's pretty cold. If it was warm, if it had warmed up at all, it would be falling apart and breaking on me, but the butter is still pretty um, firm. So, all right, now I'm going to just kind of press it onto into the side. And again, I'm not pressing like hard, but see like that part, I'm just going to pull a piece off and like press it in place. Maybe I'll put it behind it. Yeah, that works good. And I'm just trying to get it to fill in those little bumps because uh, a tart should have bumps, right? So now I, what I'm going to do is just take my rolling pin and um, I just roll it right along the edges and let the pan make the cuts for you. Oh, I'm going to put my parchment paper in here and open my beans, my pie weights. Um, I forgot to do something. Good thing is it's in parchment paper. I can just pick it right out. Take a fork and just poke around in the bottom and that'll keep it from uh, getting air trapped in there. Okay, right, now that I've done that, spread these pie weights out really good into the edges. Uh, this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. Basically until it's brown, I'm going to get all this off the pan. Uh, basically until the sides are kind of brown and then um, and then you basically take the paper out and bake it for another 18 to 20 minutes to where it's kind of all golden brown. So I'll be back to show you what it looks like when the pie weights come out. Okay, while the tart's in the oven or the crust is in the oven, I'm going to start mixing up the filling, the actual Kentucky bourbon pecan tart get insides, the guts. Um, so what you need is you need the pie, you need the tart pan, I mean the tart crust. You need three eggs three large eggs. You need a half a cup of packed brown sugar. You need three fourths of a cup of dark Cairo syrup and it kind of looks like molasses. You can see how thick it is. Um, this is the container it's in. It can be light. It has to be dark. Walmart, our Walmart at least, has not had this the past two times we've been. We ended up getting it at Kroger. So, so they had it at Kroger. Um, you need three tablespoons of unsalted butter melted, which is just um, a piece of a stick. You need two tablespoons of bourbon, which is right here. And the, this is where we get the Kentucky bourbon part. This is a Wild Turkey 101. It's 101 proof bourbon. Um, it's really, really good, honestly. The flavor is really good. So Wild Turkey is made in, where's it at? Um, Lawrenceburg. Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, which is not too far away. It's on the other side of Lexington from us. So that's our, that's our favorite flavor of bourbon. Um, you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and you need two cups of pecan halves these are the pecan halves we bought these at kroger i believe mm -hmm. um so we just took the pecan halves we measured out a cup it says two cups of pecan halves or pieces so what we did we did, we did a cup of the halves and then tammy broke up uh, another cup into you know just rough pieces with a she actually put it in this bag and just used a rolling pin and, and like got our frustrations out of it just beat it up so Here's what we did. So get your mixer out and um, you're going to meet, beat the eggs and the brown sugar together. And there's the eggs and the brown sugar. And we're going to beat this up. So now what we want to do is put the K-Roy circuit in here. This is really thick. So I forget this handle doesn't have a bottom to it. So I'll almost drop it every time I pick it up. Beat this in. So now I'm going to add pretty much everything else except the pecan. So I've got the butter. Did it come out? butter, 
the bourbon. It smells good. The vanilla. And the salt. And we're gonna, uh, it says beat until blended. So I guess when it's all incorporated together, then we're done. All right, it's, it looks pretty well beat up to me. So what you do now is we're gonna stir in the pecans. One of the things I like about the glass mixing bowl is you can just pour, take it off, and then take your pecans and just dump it right in there and then take it from the bowl and put it in our cart. So the timer might go off while we're, while we're doing this. So, so basically we're just gonna stir these in really good. And I do have to say, it smells really, really good. Um, this looks a lot like a pecan pie base. Um, this is what a pecan pie base kind of looks like. So, so anyway, this is going to sit until um, our tart is ready. So I'm just going to let it sit there. And uh, I'll be back to show you the next step will be the crust. Hey, this just came out of the oven. And I'm going to sleeve up. Um, I've got my container for my beans. And Tammy always freaks out that I'm going to dump them everywhere, which you might. You never know. Now, trick is don't seal that because they're still, they're, they're steaming going on, they're very hot. So this is gonna go back in the oven for another 18 minutes to let it brown up. All right, here it is out of the oven. That piece I tried to squeeze in, it didn't work. So what I'll do is, um, let me get a little fork and let me just kind of push it back in place. Ultimately, it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna run out of there anyway, but maybe it'll damn it up a little bit. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take this and just pour it in here. And they, it said very specifically to make sure you pour it into a hot crust. I'm afraid to put any more. It's awfully, uh, it's awfully deep. I, I'm, I'm not going to put any more because I don't want it to run over. Okay. There's not much left in there anyway. So now this is gonna go back. Um, it is, didn't, yeah, it ran over out of that hole just a little bit. Um, if I could get a pecan in that little hole, I'd probably seal it up a lot better, but um, let's see if I can shove one in there. Get in there, little pecan. There you go. Um, so this is gonna bake for 25 minutes, uh, and then I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, here it is out of the oven. It looks perfect, and if you shake it a little bit, you see it doesn't wiggle in the middle, that means it's set. Um, it has to cool in the pan, in the tar pan, for an hour. You don't want to touch it for an hour because it'll just collapse on you. So leave it in the pan for an hour. Once the hour's up, then you can remove the sides and do whatever you want with it. Um, you can actually cut it at that time too. Uh, they recommend you serve this warm or at room temperature. All right, here's the tart. I'm just gonna, it comes right out usually. And I'm going to put it on this plate. Hopefully it'll... It probably got a little glued on here because of that, that ran off the side. So I'm going to have to work with it just a little bit. Nope, it came right off. I can't wait to try this. It looks good. It looks very good. Crust is good and uh, crispy. Mm. Mm. And the bottom. Yeah, that part's where it ran out that little crack. Mm -hmm. But mm. you can taste that bourbon in there, can you? That's delicious. If you don't like pecans, you probably wouldn't enjoy this. That is absolutely, well, no, you'd have to like pecans. But if you like a pecan pie or something, this is a good. Yes. It's not as thick and sweet and syrupy as a pecan pie, mm -mm. but it is very good. I love the crust. Mm -hmm. I love the texture of the pecans. And it's funny how the pecans all rise at the top. Like that. And the bourbon, it's not too much. But it's, en it's, there. it's enough to let you know it's in there. <laughs> right. Um, you can definitely so, taste it. So I think you need to like bourbon to add that in there. And you, can, you do you think you could make this exact same recipe and not just not put the bourbon? Probably. Mm -hmm. 
Um, because it doesn't have much in there. Anyway. No, there's not much. It's like what two tablespoons or something. And it would make more of a pecan pie. Yes. Um, tart than right. a bourbon tart. It's good if you wanted to use um, if you don't get bourbon because a lot of they don't get bourbon everywhere. Right. Um, you could use whiskey too. Same difference. <laughs> yeah. Whiskey and bourbon. I mean, they do have a different flavor, but you could substitute. You could. Whiskey. You could. Yeah. But this is absolutely delicious, and I'm so glad that we made it. Mm -hmm. um, I really like it. So I hope you all uh, enjoyed the video. I will have a close-up picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.